<laughs> we got the new anti-personal, no sorry, anti-tank rifle. The boys AT rifle recently, and it is in my opinion not particularly effective. It has a role, and I think it serves its purpose well. It is mostly a weapon to be used against infantry and to annoy tanks. Don't expect to kill tanks with it consistently unless you form an anti-tank squad and be very coordinated. Whether this is OP is quite a contentious topic right now. Some call for it to be nerfed to oblivion, some say it needs a buff. Basically, there are quite a lot of emotion going on surrounding this weapon. At this point, a lot of people are using this gun just because it is a new thing and everyone is using it. I think we have to wait for a few weeks in order to really take a step back and evaluate how this changes the dynamics of the gameplay. So what this gun can do is a one hit kill up to 100 meters to the body, but not the arms. It has 80 damage from 101 to 200 meters and 72 damage beyond that. It has a 400 meters per second velocity which is the same as a recently buffed Delio Carbine. With the bullet velocity upgrade, it goes to 460 meters per second. It is still slower than the slowest bolt action rifle which is Lee Enfield with a 500 meters per second bullet velocity. It has a 26 round per minute rate of fire even with the upgrade. One hit kill is a hot topic in gaming overall. Any sort of one hit kill weapon can have a love hate relationship in various games in the community. From Counter Strike to Call of Duty, some say they are noob weapons, some say they are exactly what they need to be. In the Battlefield game, it is even more contentious because of the large size of the map, the design of the game and so on. After using this weapon for quite a bit, it is definitely not as overpowered as some people claim it to be. I play on PC so I can only speak regarding this section because the console meta may be a little bit different. And you can ask, what do you mean by it not being overpowered? It is a damn one hit kill weapon! And yes, you're right. It is a one hit kill weapon, but you have to go prone or deploy the bipod in order to use it. With Battlefield 5, the bipod mechanic is quite terrible. I miss so many opportunities to kill people just because I can't deploy it. And once you are able to go down, you become a stationary target which is a prime target for everyone, especially counter snipers. It is worse if you use any sort of optics because you just become a still light bulb just advertising your presence. So with this weapon, I found myself using the iron sight a lot more and I was able to stay alive a lot longer. You have also got to stay within the 100 meter zone to make this weapon a somewhat effective choice. There is simply no reason to be so far away with this thing because you might as well just be using any other bolt action. There are also 2 hit body kill or 1 hit headshot with a much faster rate of fire. So if you are in the 100 meter zone, a lot of weapons in the game have a fighting chance against you, especially if you are just standing still. Now regarding the play style of this weapon, it is definitely not for me. It is most suited for people who have been using similar mechanics in the game for a while, namely the bipod MMG users and you're not very good recon players who just came miles away from an objective. We can't use the gameplay in these few weeks as a measuring stick because everyone is using it now. But in a few weeks after everyone had a chance to try it and to settle down, I am pretty certain those players will be the one using it. And is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Overall I think it is somewhat neutral. There may be less bipod MMG users because some may have migrated to become the bipod AT rifle user. And I think MMGs are overall a more effective weapon than the AT rifle. The AT rifle takes more skills to use than the MMG to reach the same killing potential. And there's a large segment of the community who don't like the prone MMGers. I think this can definitely be a good thing. And for the recons who are generally pretty bad at sniping who are always prone to begin with, I think this might be a bit more annoying as they are the ones who hit body shots all the time and now they gain the ability to one hit kill with a body shot. But then as I said earlier, they are typically not your master bolt action users so the impact is not really that big. Also if they decide to camp really really far away, then the impact approaches zero. How about team play then? Wouldn't this encourage more camping? I think eventually it will even out because I think most people can't stand that kind of gameplay. I was yanking my hair out trying to use this weapon because it changes the tempo so much and I was getting so bored just prone or stuck to a railing constantly worrying about when I would get sniped in the face. There will always be campers no matter what you do to the guns and eventually it will go back to the equilibrium where campers will be campers and people who don't like to camp will now gain a giant light bulb camper for you to shoot at. Overall, I don't think DICE should make any major changes to this weapon at this point. As a recon focused player, it is by no means an overpowered weapon in my opinion. In my time of playing, my KD was half if not worse trying to use this thing. I would be much more effective with any other bolt action rifles, but it does offer a choice for people who want to go that route. Any sort of nerf to this weapon will simply make it entirely obsolete and might as well be taken out of the game. 
I am sure some people may agree with this sentiment and that's okay. We are all entitled to our own opinion and you have just heard mine. I hope you have a great day now and hit the bell if you want to be notified for my next video. See you all again soon.